every human on the planet approaches situations differently. We all have different ways to think about problems, different things we need to make decisions, and different ways we like to learn. Yet the products and services we use every day don't typically account for those differences. They force us to adapt to one way of thinking. That causes all kinds of problems, from mild irritation to learning curves that are steeper than they need to be, all the way to outright exclusion of folks who think differently. There's a better way. At Microsoft, we've built a practice of inclusive design. The methods we use talk about exclusion from the start and the awareness that exclusion happens unless we deliberately work against it. Now, we're introducing inclusive design for cognition so we can thoughtfully adapt our products to the way people think instead of asking people to adapt to products. The work starts with understanding the motivation behind any endeavor. We identify the goals and tasks for that motivation and what cognitive demands might be in the way. As we do this with all inclusive design efforts, we learn from a diverse range of human beings, the true experts in adapting. We absorb the different ways people approach problem solving. Some people learn by trial and error, poking around to make something work. Some people learn by reading or watching videos to take a step-by-step -step approach. Some people require absolute silence to focus, while others thrive on noise and energy. When we deliberately seek out understanding and work with people with different mindsets, we can create more flexible, adaptable products. So let's focus on what's universally important to all people, understanding their motivations, what they're trying to accomplish, and the way they want to achieve. Let's create adaptive ways for everyone to participate. Only then will we be able to create something everyone can use to reach their goals. To learn more about inclusive design, go to inclusive.microsoft.design.